Hello there, this is my September 2011 Birch Box. So for the first time since my first Birch Box video that I did in January, I've decided to do things a little differently. I actually did it the way I usually did. I unboxed everything. But I was really not happy with this box. I had a heads up from a few people who contacted me by email and on Twitter that this was not a good box and I will not believe what I'm going to get. And in fact, I really feel like Birch Box is declining in terms of the products that they're putting in. Um, so I'm going to show you just a few of the, the ones that I got that were really good. Um, and I'm going to insert them here. So those are a few of the boxes that I got in the previous months that were really good and I consider well worth the $10 and it made me love Birchbox. But as you're going to see from the few things that I got this month, everything seems to be going the other way and less pleasing. So I feel like they're not reading my beauty profile. The first thing I'm going to show you is this and they say it's been a year, they've been doing this for a year, they've now sent out hundreds of thousands of birch boxes, whatever. So to celebrate they want to give us a piece of string with, I don't know, whatever that is. Um, I really would have just preferred the card. I mean, that is just something that looks like a six-year-old would want to wear. I just couldn't imagine. I don't know anyone who would want, actually want to wear something like this. But we'll just move on and actually see what I got in my birch box. So the first thing is something called la a lash card. And this is individually wrapped mascara shields, which is supposed to prevent mascara from smudging and clumping. Now this is something that I would have expected to receive last month in the birch box from August which was labeled as a beauty innovations birch box and to me this seems like it could be more suited to beauty innovations. Now the interesting thing is that along with this which is something that is supposed to help you prevent uh, your clumping mascara is that I got a sample of mascara and here it is and then this mascara says it cannot run smudge clump or flake so I don't know, I originally, it just seems like a bad pairing to me, like no one's really thought about this at all. Um, I definitely would like to try this, but it's just strange that they would pair these two things together in the same birch box. But I suppose what I would really use this for is maybe uh, for if I'm using false eyelashes and I want to add some mascara to false eyelashes, especially if they're very long, it might be something that I could use. So I would definitely be interested to use this, and I think that... Uh, Especially for some extreme looks, um, maybe for some things for Halloween, you probably would want to protect your uh, shadow from mascara getting in the wrong place. So it is interesting. So the next thing I got is Ahava. Ahava must must be pummeling all of these beauty sample companies because there's something Ahava in almost every every month. I get something from Ahava, and um, I mean it's okay. It's it's uh, hand cream. I have had this hand cream before, and I gave it away because I don't enjoy the smell. I got it in one of my other beauty sample programs. Not Birchbox's fault, but it's okay. It's just something that I have to give away. The next item is the Jure Lip Enhancer Conditioning Lip Treatment. This is quite nice because uh, as the season is changing and fall is here, and uh, going to be going to be experiencing some changes in weather, this might be actually quite good to try out because. You can definitely get dry lips as fall goes into winter. Uh, we got this sample of perfume, and this is a Timo, and it's a uh, floral, so it's a floral perfume from Salvatore Ferragamo. <laughs> and I did, I did spray it on, and it's actually uh, quite pleasant. Um, I'll add it to all of my other perfume samples I have that are this size. A lot of people complain about perfume samples being this size. I'm okay with that though. Mm. And the final item are these nail strips, and this as well is something that probably could have been in the Beauty Innovations box. Uh, and the only thing about this is, is that these are quite gaudy. I mean, they look like Halloween nails. It's just nothing I would have picked for everyday use, but I could use it for Halloween and maybe on my third finger use one strip or something if I when it's some kind of, it, I don't know, it just looks like cobwebs to me. Yeah, I don't expect to get an amazing birch box every month, but I do expect to get at least a decent one. This one's okay. 
uh, I think these three things I will definitely use but and maybe the perfume but overall it's quite underwhelming they've definitely had better in the past so thank you for watching let me know what you think do you think this is worth ten dollars or do you think I'm just whining about everything until next time